So you have a camera, but you have no mic jack. To fix this, all you're going to need is a drill. And then you wanna find a good spot on your camera to drill into. And from there, all you gotta do is drill a hole. Okay, hold up, that is actually not how you fix this problem. But even if your camera has no mic jack, you still can get really good audio for your YouTube videos. So stay tuned for three ways on how you can get better audio even if you have no microphone jack. You gotta just press record. So a question came in from Megan and she asked, what do you do for a little better audio when you don't have a mic input on your camera? Please make a video on this. And Megan, we're gonna make a video on this right now. So the first option and what I think is the easiest is to get closer to your camera. Now your camera has a microphone on it. Even though there is no mic input, you do have the mic that is built into the camera. So as you get closer to the camera, you are gonna get better audio because you're closer to it. Now the main thing here is to use a wide angle lens. This is truly gonna allow you to get closer to that camera to get better audio. If you have a kit lens or some other lens like a 50 millimeter lens, you're gonna have to back way far up and getting farther and farther from the microphone is gonna make your audio worse. So using a wide angle lens, you can get close and get better audio. And we're gonna have some of our favorite wide angle lenses linked down in the description below if you wanna check those out. Here's what the audio sounds like straight from the Sony a7S III about four feet away. And here's what it sounds about a foot and a half away from the Sony a7S III. Now it doesn't sound perfect by any means, but it does sound a lot better. If you do have a kit lens, make sure that you are zoomed all the way out and not zoomed in a little bit, make sure it's as wide as it can go. Option number two is to use an external audio recorder. So you can actually buy something like a Zoom H1 and connect a shotgun microphone or a lavalier microphone to this and record your audio separately. And then what you do is import both of those things into your editing software and you would sync them in post. You can also use your phone and using something like the DD VLAV microphone that we recommend here at Think Media, it's a great $50 microphone. You can plug that into your phone and record straight to your voice memo app or any other audio recording app on your phone. And that is gonna give you way better audio than the microphone built in to your camera. So this is what the audio sounds like straight out of the Sony a7S III. And next up, I'm going to record the audio on my iPhone. Right now, what you're hearing is my iPhone 10 voice memo app. And if I bring that low enough, so it's just out of frame, it still sounds pretty good. And I'm recording this on my phone with no extra microphones, just my iPhone. So if you get creative and find a way to get your microphone close to your mouth, but just out of frame, like I'm doing with my phone right now, then you can get really good audio just by getting a little bit creative. Number three, you can use a USB microphone. These microphones are gonna give you a great sound at a really great price. These microphones are great for YouTube videos, but they're also great for live streaming, for Zoom calls, for podcasts. So they're really versatile and they come at a great price. The one that I recommend is the Samson Q2U and you can pick one up for $70, plugs right into your computer, and just like the external audio recorder, you are going to sync this up in post, and this is going to level up your audio. Click on the screen to watch our Deity V Lab microphone that clips onto your shirt, or watch our Samson Q2U USB microphone. I'll see you guys in the next video.